So, if so, you were a bowling ball heading for that perfect strike, how would the words come out? Start from square one. Here we go. Oh. There you go. Johnny. Oh, hi. Hello. Come here, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. That oh, looks oh, like oh, a stuffed oh. animal. Yes, it does. So, so I just got off the phone with Navient, my new loan provider, and found out that I was two months behind on a loan payment which led my balance to $7,000, which it seems incredible. That's because the amount of student loans that are taken out for further education or grad school are quite steep. And I'm a veterinarian and my loan debt is quite obscene. That being said, I've been paying off my loans now since 2009, 2010, and my principal balance is going nowhere. Um, the worst part about it is that it's, of course, I get interest charges, so I'm not planning on probably ever to be able to pay these loans off um, due to the way the system is set up currently. And I'm really, really upset about it because I know I'm not the only one going through this. I know there are plenty of students going through the same struggles that I am, and it shouldn't be that way. And it's time that we have to stand up and fight for each other, fight for our own lives and everything that you put into it. Every student out there sacrificing nine to 10 years of their life in school to become what they've always wanted to become shouldn't be going through this. It's wrong and everyone has to stand up for themselves. Um, my mom motivated me to make a video or do something about it because you know, she's co-signed my loans and she sees what we all go through and it's just, it's not fair and it needs to, it needs to change. It needs to change because our generations aren't able to do what we're supposed to be doing at this time. You know, buying houses, buying cars, starting families. It's it runs very deep, and it's something that it's it's devastating, and it prevents people from pursuing their their goals in life. If you can't pay for college. And you're afraid of loan debt you're not going to be able to go on and do what you want to do if it requires a degree and that's just not the way it should be done it's not the way it should be done it's not like that in other countries and it has to stop it has to stop now and i think everyone should get together and we need to start but i don't know what it's going to take writing letters to congressmen or finding lobbyists to help represent you um, but there's a new election coming up in two years, and I feel like if we don't make changes now, we're going to be struggling for a very long time. So the student debt crisis is going to be continuing for a very long time if we don't stand up for ourselves. And everyone that's in this situation, of course you're educated, of course you're smart and intelligent, and you are, your voice has to be heard, it should be heard. And. I think Johnny agrees on that because he wants more vets in the world that are good and that can take care of him. And I don't think anyone should have to struggle or suffer or worry about, you know, what are they going to do 10 years down the road when their loan butt balance goes nowhere and they still are struggling and they have the rest of their lives to live and no more income's going to be coming in. So my counterpoint to that is you sign up for a loan and you sign the contract that says you're willing to pay this percent interest on this. And maybe you didn't realize that that means you're going to be paying interest on the interest, but you signed the contract. Yeah, contracts are signed, but you know, the, the amount of money that you've taken out is after a certain amount of years of paying off a principal balance, you should be considered forgiven maybe 20 years down the road if you're paying over a thousand dollars a month for a loan for 20 30 years someone's something's got to give i like the idea that the interest is waived 
the interest should be waived if you've been paying your loans for a certain amount of time. They shouldn't have an interest on a student loan. A student loan is a student loan that's going toward your education. Should not be, should not have interest charges on a student loan. Other loans, fine. You know, if you're going to go on a holiday, you know, you have interest on credit cards. And this is something that is supposed to better your you as a citizen. What about small business loans? Small business loans, you're probably going to get interest anyway. But people who take out small business loans probably have less of a struggle than a student loan to pay off. Because you should be immediately making money off of it, whereas with a student loan, you've got four years and then you're you're out of college. You don't expect someone right out of college to start making money. You don't take the loan. You know, my I make the counterpoint of that you sign the contract, but I just you know that I don't know if you saw that video of uh, in uh, it was out in like San Francisco and these these white dudes or these dudes came in with the contract that says that they could, they had the basketball court for the night. They signed the contract with the city, they paid the $30, and all the kids were like, hey man, stuff your contract, get in line like the rest of us. And they're like, sorry guys, we have a contract. And basically they were like, you can fucking eat your contract. And the reality is a contract is just a piece of paper. You might have signed something, but if you signed something that shouldn't have been legal in the first place, I, I see no reason why to uphold it. It just, it, it just seems so impossible for, I don't know how people are going to get out of debt. I mean, there are people that are worse off than me, I'm sure, um, wondering if they're ever going to be able to pay it off. And, you know, our, our education should be paid for. If you're going, I mean, especially in healthcare, um, you know, if you're going to be someone uh, contributing to your society, then I think you definitely should have no interest or, you know, I, you know, you take out your loan, you know the amount of money you owe back. Interest every month on that is just, it's criminal. And if you're doing a public service, it makes you not want to do, it makes you not want to do your job anymore. Um, I love my job. I never want to stop doing it, but you know, I feel like that, I don't know, you know, did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake by going to college, going to graduate school? Um, I hope not, and I don't want to have to feel like this. And I'm, I know I'm not the only one out there that feels like that. Um, you know, I was better off when I was bringing more income without having as many bills as a technician. And um, it's just, you know, I, I feel like we shouldn't have to think like that. There's something wrong when you, you know, you continue, go on, you educate yourself further and you're being penalized for it. So the next step, what I think I think makes sense is that the government, which is essentially the people, should band together and subsidize the interest rates, or maybe just say, "Sorry, loan companies." I mean, we could pay these loan companies' interest rates off by with like a government bailout, but that would cost everyone something, including people that didn't go to college. If we did through the government, we could just tell these guys to fuck themselves and not pay anything off, and. I mean, it just takes, I don't know, it's, I don't know what it'll take, but I don't know whose loan company's going to buy the next loan company off or whatnot, but, um, you know, for them to even buy each other out is just pretty sketchy in my opinion. Yeah, like one company will buy they'll a make $10 like million dollar loan like make for like $7 off million. Dollars. So the, the, the original company gets $7 million of their $10 million, and they they wash their hands of it, and the other company has this $10 million loan that they invested $7 million in, and then they, they pay people to get all $10 million of it back. And then before, when they finally get fed up, because they can only get $1.5 of that $10 million back, they end up selling the rest of it off for another $6 million and try and recoup their losses or make a profit or whatever. So it's like this racketeering game, and they're selling money, which shouldn't even be legal in the first place, realistically. I mean, can I, can I sell you a dollar for 90 cents? 
or a dollar ten? I don't think so. I think I, I think that's probably illegal to try and sell currency for something other than what it's worth. It's, it can't be legal. There's a lot of things that aren't legal. <laughs> that <Yeah>. happened. <laughs> so what do we do? We call. We got to call somebody. We got to institute like a six million person call fest. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Rallying, um, protesting. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but there's a lot of intelligent people out there in the same situation. I feel like it's time that people stand up for themselves and try to fight the interest on student loans. It's, it makes it virtually impossible on large loans to ever be able to pay them off unless you, of course, fall into money somewhere. But if you're independent and you don't have it going in, that's why you took it alone in the first place because you need the money and you graduate and you need money to pay them off, but you also need to live. You need to pay your rent. You need to buy groceries. You need to live. And, you know, you live in cities where you can make more money, but with that comes larger living costs. You know, I'm in New York City because I have a great job, but my cost of living is, of course, steep. Had I moved out to the country, I would not make half as much. And I would be still stuck with that enormous amount of money to pay back in, in my loans. And that, and that would be just, that would just be financial suicide for myself. So. I don't know what the, I don't know. I just know that it needs to change and everyone needs to come together and people have to start being more, have to be passionate about it. And power is in numbers. So every student out there who's struggling, make a video, write a letter. I say make a video or we can all conglomerate on a video or something and pull together and, and think of something. So send me your email address if you're interested in working on a conglomeration, doing like a video, like a big video with like... Like a documentary on, you know, people who have not um, reaped the benefits of making their lives better by getting an education. People who are struggling, who have, you know, worked really hard and still in later years of their life, not even me, I'm considered still young, but people who are in their 40s and their 50s who are still, you know, trying to get through, trying to get by, um, you know, it's really sad and there's a lot of people out there that are going through that. I know as a fact, I mean, I have a lot of you know, people that I know personally that are going through the same struggles and it's, um, you know, their life, their lives are you know, they're not young anymore, and it's, it's, it's just really, it's, it's heartbreaking. So if you are experiencing this, and you make a video, um, upload it onto YouTube, send me to my email address, ian at iancrossland.net, a link to either an uploaded YouTube video that you do, keep it under 30 seconds, or you can actually send me the file to that same thing, keep it under 10 megabytes, and keep it under 30 seconds. And I will edit together as many as I can this week, and we'll, we'll do it this all this week. Do it for Johnny. Do it for Johnny. <laughs> do it for all the cats. <laughs> do it for everybody, for yourself. Thank you. Do it for that guy. Oh, I feel better. Get it off your chest. <laughs>